Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Knack redoing a game one here in this phenomenal show match. We're going to be watching Vinny and Shooter battling it out here, and they are going to be still in round one. We did try this just a moment ago. You guys on YouTube won't know that, but uh, out on the live stream, you guys know what I'm talking about. But uh, we definitely, uh, oh man, it must have been, what, three minutes into the game. We had a server split or something, and it was just brutal. It kicked everybody out. But we are back at it, redoing this entire game. And a Shooter says these at 50%, but it does not look like it. <gasps> He's not at 50%. <laughs> oh. Okay, sorry. I thought they were thought that there somebody was capped, but they are not. Cool, so it is going to be Shooter down here at the bottom right-hand corner this time, so they swap positions from the last time we tried this map. Vinny going to be up here in the top left. He is Green Zerg, sending out his Overlord Scout here. We'll see if Shooter going to choose anything different here, but notice he is walling off his uh, his mineral line here again. Uh, looks like that gateway might be a little bit misplaced. No, they should be okay mining here. But... All in all, yeah, I mean, you want to be careful. You don't want to block that Vespian Geyser. Moving forward, but looks as though Shooter going to be sending out his Probe Scout. We'll get some scouting intel in here fairly shortly. Spawning pool going down here for Vinny in fairly decent time. Looks like he is going to be gearing up for an expand. However, guess what? Shooter going to be arriving on the scene here momentarily and going to be ready and waiting to block his opponent's advances there. Economically, got to love Shooter. Always so pesky. Of course, if Vinny does the same thing, goes in there and steals his opponent's gas, that can be so pesky too. But uh, Shooter does have his gateway complete and his gas completing. We'll see if he's going to grab his Cyber Core. No Cyber Core quite yet, so interesting play thus far. I wonder if he's doing this on purpose or if he's misreading this. There it goes. Looks like he's got a nice little wall up here at his front door with that Cyber Core. Going to be working on his Zealots here. As well, these guys, look at that, rallied straight to the drone. He's going to try and chase that guy off with a zealot. Looks as though Vinny did get his hatchery down here in fairly decent time. Shooter out of position there to, to uh, block that, unfortunately. But, ooh, he's going to hide up here underneath this wonderful tree. He's, like, kicking it on this winter, wintry day. Very fitting map for the season we are in. Looks like uh, Vinny does make it in and stealing the gas here again from his opponent. That is... Just brutal for a Protoss player sometimes. Cybercore going down here. Does have that Warp Gate tech on the way. Is Chrono boosting out a Zealot while supply blocked? Less than effective. That is for sure. This guy going to probably be put on hold position. Indeed he is. And this guy probably not going to make it home at this point. He's probably stuck here, but that's okay. Another Zealot on the way here for Shooter. Shooter not going to be getting a lot of gas heavy units out. We'll see what he's going to be doing with his gas because he's still mining. Actually, uh, with only one probe right now. So he did cut probe or cut the uh, production on his gas there and is going to expand here off one gate interesting play let's just check in on our units tab real quick notice that shooter got a nice probe advantage here 18 drones here 24 probes so it looks to be pretty good position there for shooter however Vinny does have his hatchery already up and running there's already a queen out at both locations and another queen on the way probably going to be for some creep spreading activity but uh, shooter going to be in a decent spot here now that he is taking his second base. We'll see how that's going to go as we move forward. Another gateway going down here, it appears, and more lots on the way, but Chrono boosting out his economy here. So a shooter dead serious about getting a rock and roll in economy early, early in this game. I do like the map control here from Vinny. He seems to be in fairly decent position. He's got a lot of links cruising around, taking the towers. Uh, he's got a good position here with his overlord, can poke in if he feels like he needs to. Still has that extractor in his opponent's base, and Quite frankly, it's uh, helping him gather a lot of information. He's probably been seeing those chronos go down. So, uh, pretty good stuff. See how this is going to go. Looks like we're going to be blocking that off between there. He's going to try and choke down the paths that the that the lings have available to him. It's always a smart move. But here come a couple lings. Looks like these guys going to maybe even take out this probe. Nope, they're going to back out. Going to try and make some defense happen. This guy going to back up and block that position there. Always a smart move. But too many zealots here for those lings to be able to deal with. That is for sure. We do have that warp gate tech complete. No warp gates on the field. However, there are three gateways ready and waiting. There they go. There we go. Looks pretty good. 
And check it out, Roach Warren here for Vinny. Vinny doing a pretty good job. Going to be grabbing some more gas as well as getting that metabolic speed boost out in fairly decent time. Oh wow, lots of gas here on two base. Let's see what he's going to do with that. Definitely not going to be able to spend all of it on roaches, that's for sure. So either he's going to go heavy upgrades or going to be teching into something else. Teching into something else. And here comes a bunch of lots for shooter. These guys should be able to do a decent amount of damage. Probably snipe at least one queen here. Uh, but probably not going to be able to deny this entire base. Oh, where's he going? Looks like he's going to check over here for a third first. Not going to find one, though. That is for sure. Now he's got uh, these eight lots. Going to cruise up the ramp here, I assume. However, there's going to be plenty of roaches and lings to deal here now. So his kind of window of opportunity sort of left on him. And going to try and back out. Do a little bit of damage. Eh, it's okay. Kiting with Zealots is so very difficult, though, and tends to not be super effective just because they're a little bit slow. All of these uh, Zealots are going to get cleaned out here, I assume. Might as well turn around and try and kill his Nerglings, but that's okay. All in all, not a bad play there. A couple units here for defense. We do see a Photon Cannon. Looks like this uh, Forge is going to be working on weapons level 1. Better, better get our... Uh, Production tab up there for everybody. There we go. Looks like a fo double photon cannons here at the natural. Nice placement there. Should be able to defend fairly well given his current scenario. Looks like he's finally going to be working on this gas here. Going to start taking another in his main. Not a bad idea. Let's just check that units tab one more time. 45 to 43 in favor of shooter for that harvester count. Looks to be in pretty decent shape. There's his twilight council. Not going for charge. Going for blink here, so kind of interesting. Looks like he is going to try for a solid blink attack, but only has those three warp gates right now. And working on that uh, upgrade, looks like it's about to be complete. I assume we'll probably go ahead and grab another upgrade. Probably even his attack up level two here momentarily. But we'll see. Looks like it's about time for him to start pumping out extra warp gates. I think he's probably a little bit late on there. Oh, there they go. Yep, so pretty good timing. Not too bad at all. Seems to be in fairly decent shape, but Vinny is securing his third. Looks like it's about to be complete here. He's got a great tech pattern. The units tab going to show that he is still kicking out his opponent's heels there economically and uh, doing a pretty dang good job. What other tech do we have? We do have a macro hatch here. Looks like he is going to grab an infestation pit. Nice. So that's where he's going to be spending that gas. You can see him still floating about 500 gas there. So got to be able to spend it, that's for sure, and infestors definitely will enable the spending of a lot of gas. In the meantime, it looks as though Shooter is going to push out with his Blink Stalkers here to potentially try and deny this third. I think probably a smart move. If you can if you can keep your opponent on two base on this map, it tends to work out in your favor, especially a Zerg player. Uh, they can really, really run themselves dry on two base here. But here they come. Looks like they are going to be in pretty decent position to deny this. Notice he's not even hitting any of these drones. Just going to deny the hatch here. Doesn't want his opponent to macro up that way. Kind of an interesting play, but he is going to take that down. In the meantime, Vinny going to be massing up a pretty decent force here in the center of the map. We'll see if he is going to counterattack here. Notice his supply count, 120. He's supply blocked right now, but still way above where Shooter is at at this point. Looks like those stalkers going to escape. Going to get themselves in a defensive position here. He's got plenty of stalkers, and with good blink micro, he could take on quite a few roaches. See how that's going to fare here in just a little bit. But it uh, looks like Vinny did back out here. Is no longer supply block. Going to be working on more units. That's for sure. We'll see if he is going to go for a big push here off two base or if he's going to try and retake some bases. But here comes your attack. Looks like a couple links going to be cruising out here. Vinny saying, you know what? It is a good time to attack. However, he is going to be a little bit upset to see these guys blinking away from him. And off they go, back up to the high ground here to a better defensive location. We'll see how that's going to go for him, but these, wow, Blink Stalkers doing a lot of work. And here come a couple investors. Good Fungal going down. It's going to stop that Blink Micro there for just a little while on a good bunch of those Stalkers. Not a bad deal. Decent blinking here. He's blinking back behind that wall as quickly as possible. Takes out quite a few of those Roaches. Did not even the score, that is for sure, but there are DTs now out on the field. Probably going to be seeing some of those units cruising into these positions. We should see some in there momentarily, but I think uh, Vinny did see these DTs out on the field, so that's probably part of the reason that he did back out here. He's going to be setting himself up 
little bit differently, but he's got a good deal of... Oh, look at that. There's the DT. This guy picking up some kills. That is for sure. I mean, he's got 13 kills right now. Gonna be whapping away at roaches. That's not super effective. And down he goes. Couple of zealots warping in here. Gonna take out that base. Nice play there. Probably should walk on over here and go ahead and deny this base as well. Oh, even better. Kill off these infestors is a nice play. Of course, they did burrow away. Good play from Vinny. Got to love it. And looks like Shooter now going to be picking up map control with his DTs as much as possible. But Vinny's still in a, such a strong position here moving forward. He does have a lot of roaches out on the field. You can see that they don't have any upgrades quite yet, but that is okay. Let's check out our upgrades for Shooter. He's still on the plus one. He's working on his plus two right now. And that is going to be pretty dang nice. Looks like a bunch of photon cannons and a gateway going to be going down here for Shooter. He is securing his third base. But a good deal of stalkers here. Looks like we may see a little bit of an attack. Taking out some OBs on the way. Not a bad deal. Anything you can do to slow down your Zerg opponent is what you want to do. Gotta be careful. Looks like that guy may moving up there to the main. But Vinny's still at 152 supply. Bunch of stalkers out on the middle of the map here for Shooter. He's gotta be careful. He doesn't want to get caught in too many fungals there. Looks like a DT going to be wailing away here at the natural. And Shooter really being as pesky as possible here. Here comes the detection. Looks like this uh, DT is going to die, but he did pick up nine kills there. So actually fairly cost effective with these uh, DTs thus far. I'm liking it. Here comes your Blink Stalker. Is going to get into the face there. A couple fungals going down. Going to be trapping quite a few of these guys. Good fungals. Making it difficult for these Stalkers to evacuate that position. Good blink micro. Shooter still losing quite a few though. That is for sure. He's got to be careful moving forward here. Great deal of photon cannons here. Looks like a pretty decent engagement point. However, Shooter just does not have an army right here at this position. He's got to be so careful here. Unpowering these uh, photon cannons extremely quickly. Got to be careful. Shooter could potentially lose this game with this roach push here. Vinny really in a strong position here moving forward. A lot of infested Terrans now going to be going down to deny this expand. Not a bad deal. And Roach is now getting into this position here. Looks like another Photon Cannon going to go down here for defense. And Shooter somehow holding on there. But really is in trouble at this position. That is for sure. And here comes your Roaches and Lings. They are definitely going to be able to clean this position out. Absolutely. Absolutely. Nice play here from Vinny. Shooter going to be in a little bit of trouble moving forward. What does he have here? Just a couple stalkers here for defense, but he's got to hold his two bases at this point. He's just lost that third. And, uh, wow, Vinny could potentially push up here, up this ramp, and I think could take this down right here, right now. He seems to be in fairly decent shape, especially now that Shooter got a couple of these stalkers out of position. Looks like a couple DT is going to be wailing away on Vinny's mineral lines, though. That's a good play here for Shooter. He's trying to buy himself some time to gear up for a good defense here. Going to be fairly effective. Cleaning those Zerglings out. Not a bad deal. Got to be careful moving forward. Here come all the Leagues. Going to be blocked out and kind of cramped up as these Colossus able to take them out fairly quickly. But look at all these Infested Terrans here from Vinny. Looks like this base now going to go down and Shooter going to be in worlds of hurt at this point. It's kind of one of those base trade situations where you've got two units trying to take out your opponent's base and he's got an entire army trying to take out yours. And uh, so guess who's going to win that fight? It is probably going to be Vinny at this point. Vinny in such a strong position. Notice that he's got 50 a supply over his opponent right now and Shooter stuck on one base that is not mining. He is retaking this third. However, uh, he's not doing any mining right now. I mean, none whatsoever. Check that units tab. 52 probes doing absolutely nothing is a brutal position to be in. He says, I am rusty. <laughs> yeah, it happens. But all in all, I mean, it's been a nice play here thus far. Let's see where he's going to go from here. He's got to get back to mining. There he goes. Going to try and get some mining done. But uh, Vinny's still in such a strong position. All he really has to do is push in at this point. And that is going to be GG. Here he goes. He's got to defend like two locations. He's got to defend here. And he's got to defend all of his unit producing structures up here. So 
Uh, oh, good force fields here. Looks like he's going to hold this attack for just a moment. But you know what? Vinny's like, great, you're going to block yourself in. Might as well go deny the expand. And Vinny going to be doing a great job of it. Brutal, brutal, brutal. Looks like all of these probes trying to get in on the fight. Here comes the flank attack from Shooter, but is it going to be enough? It does not appear so. Decent force fields, but you know what? Just not enough at this point. Not enough, and Vinny going to be pushing through this, taking out these Colossus. These Colossus being microed very, very well by Shooter, but again, it just turns out to be one of those positions where you just can't get it done. And taking out so many buildings at this point. Vinny got a lot more units now spawning, going to be cruising out across the map. Shooter back to mining here fairly quickly, but uh, one Archon not going to be enough for defense here. Nice play, and there's the GG from Shooter. Great game. Vinny taking it down in phenomenal style. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you guys for watching. Don't alt tab always on StarCraft. We'll see you guys in just a bit.